I recently read John Ortbrook's book, The Life You've Always Wanted. Now, this is not a sales book. However, it had some great thoughts and teachings that align perfectly with what it takes to be excellent in sales. One of the key teachings is, there's an immense difference between training to do something and trying to do something. You can't run a marathon, even if you try really, really hard without training. You must arrange your life differently in order to train. That's great advice. Because for all of us, it's easy to fall into the trying trap versus the training trap. Let me give you a couple of examples. A salesperson makes a decision that this year she's going to be more positive, more optimistic. She's read the research. Optimistic salespeople sell more than pessimistic salespeople. She's going to try really hard. The salesperson training to be more positive, optimistic, actually rearranges her life. She establishes new habits. She gets up 15, 30 minutes early. The first thing she does is writes down or thinks about those three things she's grateful for that morning. She reviews positive affirmations and she visualizes herself being positive throughout the workday when it would be easy to default to negative thinking behaviors. She's training to be positive. A salesperson says, gosh, I've got to get better at asking questions. I'm going to try really hard this year to talk less and listen more. I'm going to try to ask better questions. The salesperson training to ask questions actually takes the time, establishes a new habit of writing down the consultative questions, memorizing the questions. He takes time to reach out to his boss, a colleague, and sets aside 30 minutes every day to role play and practice. This salesperson is training, not trying. Apply the EQ skill of emotional self-awareness and ask the tough question, are you trying to be excellent in sales or are you training to become better at sales? I'm Colleen Stanley, President of Sales Leadership. Thanks for joining us today.